tonight on Kitchen Nightmares Revisited. Chef Ramsay returns to some of the most explosive and unforgettable restaurants to see what happened to the eateries he tried to turn around. Hot water. Get the f Don't waste my time. I don't even talk to my staff like this. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. Close your fucking business. Close it. First, we return to Classic American in West Babylon, New York. You gotta go fucking work the line because I'm fucking losing my mind. Owned by friends who are on the verge of losing it all. I feel like I've failed. And I've tried hard, you know? Then we'll check in on Dobby Day in Boston's North End. Hey, Mohan, this is your tape. Get the fuck out of here, really. Where two brothers were at war with each other. I'm mad, I'm pissed. I'll fucking tell you to go fuck yourself for the bullshit you put me through. Oh my god, fine. And finally, who can forget Down City in Providence, Rhode Island? You're a disgrace in this industry. Fuck you and get out of my restaurant. Where Chef Ramsay went toe to toe with a stubborn owner named Abby. And you can't even fuck accept you. it. Fuck hey, you. you'll walk out again. I am. Fuck on. you. Tonight, Chef Ramsay is back to see if his hard work has paid off, who has embraced change and turned their business around, and who turned the restaurant back into a nightmare. What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. I'm done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. In this day and age, running a restaurant has never been harder. Tonight, I'm going to show you what happened to some of the restaurants we tried to turn around last year. But first, let's take a look back at what happened when I arrived at Classic American. West Babylon, New York, just an hour outside Manhattan. It's a cute, stunning, all-American town. The perfect location for a Classic American diner. Just not this one. So tonight sucked. Every night sucks, yeah. The owners, Colleen and Naomi, were $700,000 in debt, and not one of them had paid themselves a paycheck in over a year. I feel like I've failed. And I've tried hard, you know? Colleen's son, Kevin, was the head chef. What's soft and chewy? The calamari. Table A needs their food. They've been waiting so long. She knows everyone's waiting a long time, what do you want okay? Me to do? And her boyfriend, Dom, was the manager. Hey, Dom, why we run out of everything? How the fuck do I know? When I arrived, the menu was simple. So I played it safe and stuck to the classics. I'm a big lover of mac and cheese. Do you have any mac and cheese? Yes. Almost impossible to screw up. Yeah, it's a mouthful of goo. That's gross. Almost impossible to screw up. <sighs> the bomb burger? Fuck it out. You probably won't like that either. It's chewy as hell. We ask the chef for the taste, though. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're great. My appetite gone. I went straight back in the kitchen to confront Kevin, the chef. On a scale of one to ten, rate the food in the restaurant. Between six and seven. Six and seven. I would have said six. Half it, and take two away, and you you're on my mark. At that nice dinner service. I witnessed firsthand the real issues with Classic American. Water up. Bad food. Just kind of soggy. The shrimp is no good. Not enough food. Teresa, no burgers. We're out. There is no more. What a joke. I gotta, I can't do this tonight. I can't, you gotta go fucking work the line because I'm fucking losing my mind. What's the matter? I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. You understand? I do understand. And I can see how painful it is. I feel like I had more loot than anybody else in this place. Excuse me. Here's the, the honest truth. Friendship's got fuck all to do with it, because there's no friends when that place is closed. You're right. You're absolutely right. You cannot give up. No. Colleen was wearing all the pressure of Classic America on her face, and you could see she was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. The next morning, I sat everybody down, and I held a staff meeting. Dom, why are we always running out of product? Because when I open my fucking mouth, everybody shrugs their shoulders and gets a fucking attitude. Because you do it That's all the time. Why. This is the problem. Is it you? Is it him? Is it me? Is it her? Who? Who? It's everybody. No! I was ready to kill somebody. You don't disrespect me like that. They got to find a way to fucking piss me off. No. Unbelievable. Nothing was working. 
So, to add some excitement for that night's service, I introduce a new special. Let's start off with some sliders. Fun and bite-sized, yeah? That is a thousand miles away from the bomb burger. Yeah? Have a taste. Oh, that's superb. How's that? Perfect. Try and chew it before you swallow it, yes? You're going to use something right out. Finally, classic American had a dish customers actually enjoyed. Oh, that's good. good. It's really good burger. Yeah. They said it was excellent. Unfortunately, the rest of the old standbys were a classic American flop. Look at that. Just touch it. A plate oh. of vegetables. Your finger's going right through it. This is the sorry state that we've got ourselves into. I wouldn't serve that to my dog. Stop. Stop. Don't send anything else. Close it. We're closed. These are closed? Can I get away to Sylvia, please? I'm sorry, we're not serving anymore. I was running out of time. Nothing was working. There's no way this restaurant can survive unless there's a dramatic change. So that night, my team moved in and gave Classic American a stunning, and I mean stunning, makeover. Wow. Come in, come in. <laughs> Gone as the old country style, whatever it was. And welcome to the new Classic American. <laughs> Talk to me, darling. <laughs> Are you happy? What do you think? Looks great. Let's have a look at the new menu. Classic American dishes done brilliantly well. <laughs> I swear to God, who needs a pig in the back garden when you got fucking Dom? Big deep breath. <laughs> oh, great. Dom, save some for the staff, will you please, yeah? Uh huh. And then the breakthrough I've been waiting for. Somewhere along the line, we got lost. And I just want to apologize for that. Colleen finally took charge of her business. We're family, but. We have a business, business to run, run, OK? And so those two things need to be separated. And I know you have to lead by example. And we will show you the leadership that you need to do your job. Hallelujah! Let's have some fun tonight, guys. You know it. Relaunch night. Opening five minutes, guys, yes? Kevin, ready? Ready. With Colleen stepping in and taking charge... Pulled pork right away. Let's go. The kitchen ran smoothly. Kevin, you got a classic burger. OK. Two orders of wings all day. You got the wings, yeah? Excellent. Nice. Keep it going, guys. How do we like everything? Absolutely delicious. We'll come back for more. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, we'll, we'll clear the board. The customers are happy. Good night. Thank you very much. That night's relaunch was one of the best we've ever done. You all pulled off a fantastic service. Congratulations. Thank you. Amazing. Colleen, Naomi, this restaurant has every potential to really become a huge success. Do not start dropping your standard. It means too much. Yes. Come here, you. Well done. Up. Whoa, well done. Mm. I'm back at Classic American West Babylon, New York, where two waitresses bought a business to fulfill their American dream. It turned out to be an American nightmare. We made a lot of changes. We're about to find out if they turn things around. Last time I was at Classic American, I met two owners that were on their last legs. The food was disgusting, the staff were disorganized, and the restaurant was bleeding money. We made a lot of changes, new decor, new menu, and a new attitude. I'm back now to see if all those changes have paid off. Fingers crossed. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Mm, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Very good, thank you. I can't believe how well you look. <laughs> look, you've just been away on holiday. Yeah. Where did you go? Nowhere. No? It's a little weight off the shoulders. A little weight off the shoulders. Um, no need to ask, but obviously business today is busy. It's been very busy. Oh, really? Yes. We get Fantastic. a good crowd, lunch and dinner. Who's in charge? Out here, Colleen's in charge. In the back of the house, it's me on there. Synergy there? Yes. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to jump in the kitchen. You've got the reins. You're in control. Right. I'm more relaxed. There's more structure again. And the business is growing. Hello? Somebody's busy. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Are you well? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, goodness me. You look great. Thank you. So does your partner. I was super excited to see Gordon come back. I was nervous, but I was really happy, and I knew it was only going to be positive. Who's in control? We're in control. control. You are. That's good news. Battle, yeah. battle scars to prove Battle it. scars. <laughs> Fantastic. Who's involved with the menu? 
Uh, Kevin, myself, Colleen. Big time. Hey, big boy. How are you? Good, how's it going? Good to see you. Want to grab an apron? Uh, an apron? <laughs> oh, good. Someone's found his balls. Excuse me, you want me to cook now? Yes. <laughs> Is that passion still there? Absolutely, more, uh, more so. Rate the food out of 10, what would you give it? Between six and seven. Half it, I'd take two away, and you, you're on my mark. 10. A 10? Yes, sir. You didn't even think about that. Brilliant, you. Yes. Hey, it's good to see you. You too. The business is up in terms of the last six months. Where is it? Uh, 35%. 35% up. That's fantastic. Are the costs in control? Yes. They are, yeah? And who's buying the ingredients now? Who's, who's running that side? Dom. Dom. Oh, Jesus. You always got to come back? That's right. I got to fucking comment about every fucking thing. Because when I open my fucking mouth, everybody shrugs their shoulders and gets a fucking attitude. Because you do it That's all the time. Right. We kept him out of the kitchen. You've kept him out of the kitchen. That's good news. Now office. Oh, Dom's got an office. <laughs> oh, wow. The garage. Oh, the garage. Good. He's allowed to be in for an hour today to eat and have coffee. That's it. How are you? Hey, good. How you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Likewise. I, I thought I'd see you running around the dying room, topping up water, shouting at everybody. No, I'm, I'm a little in the background now. How do the staff rate you now? Do they see you as a interferer? Oh, yeah. still an interferer. Yeah. What, you mean you're still throwing things? They gotta find a way to fucking piss me off. No, I don't throw things. I just scream now. Oh, you scream now? Yeah, I'm yelling at everybody. That's why I stay out here. Okay. okay. Colleen looks great, by the way. I mean, seriously? You know, the stress, a lot of stress is relieved. She looks 10 years younger. Colleen's a lot happier. The changes she's made in the last year, things are looking up. Good to see you. <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, he hasn't changed one bit, has he? No. Uh, oh, my God. Listen, it's still good to have someone that passionate behind you and the business. But there's a place for him, and it's not in the restaurant. No. It's in the shed. Yes. He's very high strong down. But he's got my best interest at heart. I'm sat here looking at both of you now, and completely different to the last time I saw you both. <laughs> <laughs> last time round, you sort of hadn't given up, but you were just going through the motions. Yeah. I got embarrassed the way you were letting the dining room staff get away with murder. Do you want to go out there or no? I don't know. How's that attitude changed towards both of you? They're not as confused anymore or frustrated. Right. They're more happier and more willing to do yeah. what needs to be done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you much indeed. The meatloaf. Jeez, that looks lovely. Uh, doesn't it? It does. Wow. That nah, is delicious. A plus? Delicious. Yeah, that's an A double plus. A 10 out of 10. Uh, I'd give that a 10 and a half out of 10. <laughs> so last time I was here, the worst moment. Colleen, what was it? The garage. I've been fighting a losing battle every day. In terms of? Just feeling totally helpless. Mm -hmm. Almost given up. Mm -hmm. Knowing that I couldn't, but wanting to. Mm -hmm. Naomi, worst moment for you was what? After people ordered, um, we shut the kitchen down. Stop! Don't send anything else. Close it. Now, I, I would like to tell you something. Yeah, of course. And if I cry, it's happy news. <laughs> All right? Yes. All right. I just want to tell you that I appreciate you, you come and tell us. Had you not come, we wouldn't be sitting here. It wasn't. Me who turned this place around is both of you. Never forget that. Had he not come, we, we would have had to shut our doors. He gave us a second chance, you know? He brought us back to life. Um, I've got a little surprise for you both. Please come with me. I know. Just two seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just have your attention for 30 seconds? I'm so happy to be back here in West Babylon. Uh, why? because I think this place is amazing. And there's a gentleman here who has an amazing award. Um, would you say good morning to Richard Branson please? <laughs> How are you, sir? Good to see you. On behalf of all the hamburger lovers of Long Island, uh, Good Times Magazine's Bountiful Gourmet column would like to present you with Long Island's Best Burger Award. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Great news. Thank you. Mwah. The biggest thing that Gordon taught me was to be the boss and stop letting everybody walk all over me. Thank you to our community and our employees for making this possible. If Chef Gordon Ramsay hadn't come, we wouldn't be here. Our doors would have closed a year ago. Well done. The most important thing that I got from him is that you have to believe in yourself. You know, you can do this. 
You know, you did do it. You can do it again. I'm so happy for Colleen and Naomi. Increasing business by 35%. In today's economy, that's practically unheard of. They are a true, classic, American success story. Brilliant. Boston's historic North End is rich in history, culture, and brilliant food. There are so many thriving Italian restaurants in the area. Unfortunately, David is not one of them. Hey, moron, this is your table. Get the fuck out of here, really. The restaurant was owned by two brothers who were constantly at war with each other. Too fucking hot for him. Get the fuck out. Don't waste my time. Frank was the chef, bitter and frustrated. Shut the fuck up. Take the food that's up in the window and come back. Worst of all, he'd given up on himself. It's 3.30. You got to get ready for dinner. It's different. You're going to get fucked anyways tonight. Frank's brother, Anthony, just looks so down and beat and constantly trying to please. Anthony, why don't you go kill yourself? Oh, my God. Can't work like this. To make matters worse, the brothers were hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Are we going to be able to take checks this week? The moment I arrived, I called the staff together, and that's when I discovered the problems ran far deeper than I ever imagined. Anthony has been in and out of the restaurant over the 13 years. Frank found out that Anthony was embezzling money. And what happened? I know, I'm hooked on painkillers, got in trouble, went to jail, the whole nine yards. Frankie got left with the whole shit. It got to him. Got depressed, he got burnt out. Money went down every year. Naturally. When Anthony left, Frank gave up. He's broken mentally and physically. Come on, I'm mad, I'm pissed. I'll fucking tell you to go fuck yourself for the bullshit you put me through. Oh, my God, Frank. If you can't put the past behind you, we can't go on. He doesn't respect me, and I don't respect him because I think he laid down and fucking died. The family were very open and honest about their feelings, but when it came to the food tasting... All the passes he and me, that's a big positive. All I got was a bunch of BS. Oh, it's really spongy and horrible. Are they frozen? No, no, that's fresh. Will you just check if that was done this morning? Because it tastes like it was done last sure. week. When were they made? Uh, no. three weeks ago. Yeah, there's a batch of freezer. They don't make them so hard every day. It was actually made three weeks ago. Disappointed by the food, I went straight in the kitchen and gave Frank a reality check. If you can't even be bothered to cook fresh food, what do you want me to do? Wave a magic wand and turn this place around? Come on! I don't know how to do any better. That's a lie. You could do much better. That night, I was hoping for a reinvigorated Frank. Bat chance. What you got down there, a little booth? I'm thinking. Come on! You can sit down on your ass to think. My seat of depression. Holy crap. From the first ticket, dinner service, was a disaster. Table 31, been waiting an hour. Please shut the fuck up! I'm waiting on 32. Can't cook that fast. This is lukewarm. You yes, son of a fucking bitch. You and your fucking lemon juice, fucking stupid chicken out of your fucking motherfucker. I wasn't watching a dinner service. I was watching a man on the verge of an emotional breakdown. <laughs> it wasn't over yet. Frank walked out of his own dinner service. Are you kidding me? I'm not fucking cooking. I'm not doing it. Davide was doomed, unless we can bring Frank back. The next morning, a very emotional Anthony spoke the words that his brother was dying to hear for so long. I know how much damage I've done. And you had to hold it together. Now I believe you need to take care of yourself. We don't ever say it, but I do love you. That's it. That's the first time I heard any remorse from him. Should I listen or should I not listen? Oh. Kim? You haven't put this chef's jacket on in four years. Because I think inside you felt you didn't deserve it anymore. But you do. You're actually one of the most talented people I've ever met in my life. That lack of passion that showed in the food yesterday for Gordon was a cry for help. Please put this back on. No, I'm serious. Frank was beginning to come around, which was very positive. I want you to think of something that you want to cook. Can't say this in a simple one that away wine. Nice. What have you got in the sauce? Shallots, thyme, a little dash of rosemary. It's delicious. 
He even put his chef jacket on. And now you look like it's the chef that you are. Then I got to work on the new menu immediately. Have a look at this. Wow. Oh, my God. Gone are the dreadful plates of the 80s. <laughs> the main course, homemade gnocchi, brown butter, truffle oil, and some fresh chives at the end. Awesome. I am overwhelmed. Relaunch night. You walk on to David. Tonight we change the menu. The stakes were really high. A packed house and two writers from Boston Magazine. Did you try with pizza okay. I'll do the Tuscan bread soup. Within minutes, Anthony and Frank reverted back to their old ways. Frank, let me get the pork so I can complete. That's it. Don't ever rush me. Come on, give me, give me. I'll give put me. it up when it's ready. Give me. Go. The pork is a little wrong. Table 15 wants a oh, no. pork bar. Fuck! It's the Boston Magazine. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What's your fuck? Frank looked ready to bolt out the back door again. I stepped in immediately and really turned him around. Listen, we can pull this back. We can pull it back. Come on. OK? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, know, I, know, I know it's I under cover. We can get it going, yeah? I'm fucking pissed at myself. You, know, you can't let it fall. No, 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 no. I'm not giving up. I'm tired, but I'm not giving up. Thank God I was trying to impress you tonight. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure it's good. It's good. It was rocky. But Frank and Anthony proved they could work as a team and work under pressure. And now a restaurant can be every night. Frank, you proved to me tonight that you can run a kitchen. And Frank, keep that chef jacket on, keep that attitude with it, and never sit down in a kitchen ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for your success. I'm back at Davide's in Boston's North End. Last time I was here, it was like walking into a war zone. Two brothers fusing so much they were destroying their business. We brought them back together as a team, and we're about to find out if they're still on the right path. Last time I was at Davide, the food was rotten and the customers were staying away. But nothing was going to change until I helped the two brothers who owned the restaurant to let go of the past. Let's hope they haven't gone back to their old fighting ways. Anthony? How are you, sir? How have you been since I last saw you? I'm good. Uh -huh. good. You look great. Yeah, things are good. I was definitely a little nervous having him come back in. You're still worried, is he going to come back and say, you guys aren't doing the right thing again? Um, nice atmosphere in here. There's a buzz. Big brother, where is he? He's in the kitchen. Please tell me one thing. Has Frank kept his butt off that chair? Put you down there, little booth. Come on. My seat of depression. You ask him. OK, I'm going to find out. Good to see you. All right, you too. Nice to Thank see you. you. Check out. Hey. How are you, big man? Good. How are you? you look good. You're busy out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got the chef jacket on. Please tell me you continue to wear that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, come on, Frank. What is that doing here? You little fucker. <laughs> i got to rest my ass for once in a while. Oh, no, come on, Frank. No, you're kidding me. Before service, after service? Before that. Not in the middle of service? No. Promise? Get me again anymore. Have you kept that pressure? Yeah. Good. Hard, well, right? It's always there, it just... Needed a little bit of push, I guess. The biggest thing I learned from Chef Ramsay was that you got to care about what you're doing. Bottom line, if you don't want to do it, get out. Hello, Kim. Come round, darling. Oh, my God. I was excited to see him, because I wanted him to see that Frank had really taken his suggestions and implemented them. All right, nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Last time I was here, you were at your wrist end. Yeah. The weight on your shoulders. I mean, you were on the verge of breaking down before anybody. Him, and I've seen how much over the years he's done for everyone. How's their relationship between Anthony and Frank? I mean, how? they're brothers. So yeah. They're gonna fight. You, you look at it as Frank has one way and Anthony has another. Yeah. I think Gordon bringing a lot of the issues to life did help in that, you know, Frank and Anthony kind of understand now where the other one's coming from. I look at you now, mm -hmm. not just how happy you look, but great to see Frank sweating, busy, on top of it. I know. That's the scary Amazing. How cool was that? To see him happy about it and to be researching new dishes and looking for new menu things to bring in is amazing. Good. Because that was gone. That's great news. He's got his passion back. You've got your man back. Yes. 
<laughs> right, lunch, what are we eating? I'm not sure. Yeah? Maybe it's a flake. Yes. Whoa, yeah. honest. That's lovely. When I look at these three dishes here and I think back to what was served, seriously, I mean, it's a different league. Look at that. Mm. Mm. When Ramsay tasted the food, I was thinking, here we go again. That's delicious. A really good thing. Really good. He liked it. He didn't read me you were a new one. <laughs> Brotherly love on a one to ten. Where's that now? Too fucking hot, Barbara. Get the fuck out. Don't waste my time. It's a head of two sucks, bud. It's a head of two sucks. We're at a seven. We'll get a seven. seven. Since the last visit, me and Frank have definitely made progress and let go of more stuff than before. If you blow up five times a week, now we're blowing up twice a week. Cool. Where are we? On a good day. On a good day. On a good yeah. day at seven. Oh, seven on a good day. <laughs> seven on a real good day. <laughs> I feel like I've moved forward a little bit because I think he has more respect for what I do. He finally gets it a little bit. Business in general, since I was last here. 10, 15% off. Oh, wow. Very well. Good. Have you seen what's happened in Boston in terms of how many restaurants have been closing over the last four months? I mean, yeah, surviving fun. this recession is, is a success. Let me tell you that. If you weren't here, we would have been closed. Do you think so? Yeah. yeah. Guaranteed. Ready? Guaranteed. Great news. Um, a little surprise for you. OK. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. No, don't be like that. Be have yourself. Yes? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, may I just have your uh, attention for 30 seconds, please? How was lunch? Great. Delicious. The city's on a high on the back of the Stanley Cup. <laughs> we have a big surprise here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sean Thornton. <laughs> When he said he had a surprise, I really had no idea. That was awesome. Awesome, bro. You guys helping us get where we are. I'd like to give you the awesome. jersey to put up in here. So thank you very much. I seen Thornton as like he's always a fighter. Comes back. It felt good to see somebody like that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The biggest thing I learned from Chef Ramsay is persistence. But the most I learned is that he really did emphasize, you know, having people around that love you and family. <laughs> I'll, I'll, this jacket. I'll send you another one. one. Work one. Thank you for building my confidence and for helping me in my business. So nice to see them smiling again. And just like their beloved Bruins, if Frank and Anthony continue working together as a team, Davide is on track to become a big winner. Providence, Rhode Island, great little city. Lots of cool restaurants and a phenomenal art scene. But honestly, I spent so much time there with a throbbing headache named Abby. I just want an answer. It is impossible for the prize to be ice cold. Abby owned and ran down city. Problem was, she was running it into the ground. As long as you work for me, you do it my way. Enough said. Her employees didn't respect her. Abby acts like... Whatever, don't argue. Corella DeVille. <laughs> and her partner, Rico, he couldn't get a word in edgewise. All I think about is why people are not coming to my restaurant. Down City was bleeding money. Abby and Rico were in debt to the tune of a million dollars. We've got all these bills to pay this weekend. That's the stack. When I first arrived, Abby was actually quite pleasant. Hello. Hello, Chef Ramsay. How are Welcome you? Welcome to Down City. Nice to meet you. Likewise, my pleasure. For five seconds. And on a scale of one to ten, mark the food, what would you say? Where are we? It's a ten. Wow. It's wow, wow, wow. Yes. Perfect. I'm starving because the room service next door was shocking. We do the room service for that hotel. What was the problem? Crab cakes that were stone cold in the center. It was just like this ball of mush. Disgusting. That's impossible. Can you say denial? I think you're one of those customers that I would fire immediately. Now, obviously, I didn't think the food was going to be a ten. But what Abby served me, shocking. What do you think? Ah, uh, soggy, chewy, disgusting calamari. What do you say about it? Just get the calamari back out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a party in your mouth. I'm taking it. That was one party you didn't want to attend. It wasn't a party in my mouth. It was like a funeral in my mouth. A funeral? <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of does look like something died. It was so clear that Abby was bloody delusional. 
and it was time for me to give her a big wake-up call. How can I fix it when you stand there in front of your team rating you and your restaurant and your food 10 out of 10 dreamer? I don't, I don't think it's as I bad as you say it's I it can't is. Stop being in denial. Wake up and admit it's shit. No surprise, that night's dinner service was a big disaster. And I mean disaster. This needs to be cooked a little more. Can we just 86 this special? Every single one of them has been sent back. I'd seen enough, so I decided to sneak away and have a quick look round the fridges. Wow, this is gross down here. Holy crap. I was totally shocked. I led Abby and Rico straight downstairs. The place is a filthy mess. Look, what is that? Lamb bones? And who's organizing this? And that's when all hell broke loose. You're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. Hold it on wasn't a minute. like this. I don't hold, run a kitchen. Hold like on this. a minute. You're calling me a fucking asshole? I am. You stuck up precious little bitch. Let me tell you oh something. Oh boy, here we go. Listen to me. I'm not gonna listen to you. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. Yes, you are. I'm not in yes, denial. you are. You can't even accept it. Fuck hey, you. You'll walk out again. I am. Fuck you. There you go. Flip the bird. You are insane. You are like... yeah, Blame me all you want. These excuses that you're insane. I'm insane. You're insane. You can't even be fucking, fucking insane. You're fucking insane. I don't even Perfect. talk to my staff like this. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. I will get go. Get the fuck out of my I restaurant, will go. please. You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. You're a disgrace in this industry. Fuck you and get out of my restaurant. You still here? Not now, guys. Please. Please, please. Fuck him. I was pissed. That has never, ever happened to me before. Excuse me, they called me. Is he, he's coming back today, isn't he? I don't give a fuck where he goes. He can go to hell for all I care. Chef Ramsay. Then Rigo came out and begged me to walk back in those doors. Honestly, she's got to start listening. I, I know, I, and I don't know how to make her do it. I really, I don't know. You want me to leave? I'm out of here. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Tomorrow we need to start being honest and open. I agree. I want you to help me get this restaurant to where I need it to be. The next morning, I held a staff meeting, which they'd never had before, and got them to ask Abby some serious questions. She had no choice but to listen to the team, and she was being exposed. It was so important. Abby, why do you not allow anyone to express their opinions without it being seen as a personal attack to you? Since I bought this restaurant, I became a defensive bitch. Wow. Is this the same person? A new Abby. I felt really encouraged. Immediately, we got to revamping Down City's menu. The appetizers. Ghost cheese truffle dip, honey spiced chicken wings, meatball sliders. Delicious. Wow. Now we can have a real party in our mouth, Abby. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Oh, my god. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like my <laughs> I've never seen Abby this emotional. Like, she does have a heart in there. She does have a soul. It's amazing. <laughs> now we just gotta make it work. Yep. Relaunch night. We are gonna rock this town tonight. Let's go, let's go. I invited a special guest, blogger Stacy Place. She has 10,000 followers. She blogs tomorrow. We're 10,000 potential customers. Back up. The night started off well. Right now, in the window, I need that fish and chip. I need that slider. Slider's up, Chef. Jimmy, keep it going, yeah? Frise salad on the fly. But it didn't take long for Abby to go back to their old ways. Jimmy, did you call the calamari for table 30? I just did. Oh. I need four soups and one chowder up in the line, please. That's incorrect. The kitchen fell behind. And it was relaunch night, and it felt like it was all going up in flames. She just tweeted, waiting for appetizers, getting hungry. OK, this is not bullshit now. Menu's there, chefs are there, I need you there. Come on. All right, OK. Please. Listen, Jimmy, they're already blogging that they're waiting too long for food. Let's get this food out. All right, how long on a solo truffle dip? Urgently, please. With Abby cool, calm, and in control, the kitchen got back on track. Jimmy, what's up? 37, did you fire? I did fire. Good. Abby, read that discreetly. So you want and you need? Truffle dip, amazing, yes? Yeah. Come on, keep it going, yes? This looks amazing. Yeah. Really good, yeah. A lot better than last night, right? Yeah. Jimmy, it's awesome. Thank you. Customers love the food. Abby, how do you feel, babe? I feel. Beyond belief, fantastic. Come on in. Give me a hug. 
You're not going to ask me. I'm going to ask you. That's right. I, Gordon Ramsay, are asking you for a hug. Come here. Huh? Thank you. I'm back at Down City. The scene of one of the biggest fights in the history of Kitchen Nightmares. The owner, Abby. Wow, what a tough nut to crack. We made a lot of changes. Let's hope they've paid off and she hasn't slipped back to her old ways. Pray to God, please. Hallelujah. Hey, Rico, how are you? Gordon Ramsay. Good to see you. How are you, sir? Good. I how knew you'd be back. Are you, are you well? I'm excellent. How are you? You're looking well. Thank you. You too. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> the big question. How is she? <laughs> oh, let me lead you to her. Yeah. Do I need a... You don't need armor. You don't no. need anything like that. Bulletproof vest. No, you're fine. No. Okay, you're fine. great. You're fine. I Here think she'll be happy to see you. Okay, I'm anxious for this one. Hey, how are you? Welcome back. You look great. I was so happy that he was here because I knew he was going to love the food. Do you still hate me? No, I never hated you. Really? Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. I will go. Get the fuck out of my I restaurant, will go. please. Can I stay today or are you going to kick me out? We'll see. Oh, we'll, we'll see. see. Okay, great. Uh, well, uh, need I ask? Um, business is looking good. Just look at it. Everyone's happy. Everyone's great. Since Gordon was here last, business has improved at least 30, 30%, and that's huge in this economic environment. How have you changed? I don't come in the restaurant anymore and say, OK, this is what we're going to do. It's my way or the highway. That Abby is gone. I think the staff is going completely batshit crazy because I am so calm and I don't run around yelling and screaming at them individually anymore. Um, Food-wise, last time you rated the food, you gave it a 10. How's the ratings <laughs> now? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to find out. It's a 10. And you mean it this time? I'm not in denial. <laughs> You'll see. Hey, look at you. Excuse me. Hey, who's hey. here? How How's are you? Going? Are you well? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good to see you. Jimmy has impressed the hell out of me with his work ethic. That kid would rather be working than doing anything. Abby rated at 10. How would you rate your food now from 1 to 10? A 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. And she's changed. Tonight was the worst shit show I've ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. For the better. How's your work relationship with her? Is she giving you more leeway? Can you become the chef? Yeah. Yeah? Jimmy just absolutely wonderful. And his dynamic with Abby's has, has melded into a really nice relationship. There you go. Good to see you, Jimmy. You too. I'm dying to see downstairs. <laughs> Our famous place, you know, where you and I really what get off. What happened downstairs? Well, I don't remember that. Take me down there again, please. I don't know what that is. What is that? What, you lost the words? The place is a filthy mess. Look. What is that? You're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. Hold it on a wasn't minute. like this. You're calling me a fucking asshole? I am. You stuck up, precious little bitch. Let me tell you oh something. Oh, boy. Shall we? Please. So I prepare myself? Holy mackerel. Wow. What do you think? Well, bloody hell. It's organized, it's structured, and it all looks incredible. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We've just been working so hard to keep the standards up that he left us with. I've got a question for you. What's up? On my last visit here, you told me. You're a disgrace to this industry. I take it back. Are you taking it back? I take it back. back. I... It just came out. Sometimes I don't have a filter. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to Likewise. See Good to see you too. How are you, buddy? Good, good. How are you? Well, what's happened? It's like sort of we've, 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 we've changed. She goes up to our tables all the time now. She's very interactive with the customers. You know, she's looking for positive and the ne negative feedback. Okay. okay, great. It's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. <laughs> no, thanks. Wow. That looks great. That's a steak. That's salmon of sausage. Mind if I do a bite of that one? Absolutely. It's so good. That's delicious. To get Gordon Ramsay's seal of approval, I mean, it really means everything to me. Have you embraced the word change? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no pinky cross. Put your right hand up and swear to God, I have it. I have it. I've embraced. I've embraced. Change. Change. Forever. Forever. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so with the success of the business, has it brought you two together in terms of as a proper partnership? What's the working relationship now like? I sense a little tension between you two. Instead of the um, volcano erupting on the employees, it erupts on me. Really? No. It's like what she was told on Friday, so she told me to fuck off. <laughs>
think you know what I'm trying to told you to fuck off. Uh, Abby, there's me thinking that you're a complete change, turn around, amazing woman, and you slip back into your old ways. No, I didn't. We're like an old married couple. You're in business together. You shouldn't turn to fuck off. He's your partner. You're right. You're absolutely right. Don't tell him to fuck off again. In fact, I'd like to apologize. I love you, Rico. I'm sorry. That's all I've been waiting for since Friday. That's it. It's very simple. I wish you did it Friday night. There isn't anyone I would ever do this with besides Adam. Her heart and soul are there 110% of the time. Listen, I'm pleased. Good job. Hi, Thank Louis. you both. Thank you. Now, as always, um, take care. Thank you very much. Take care of her when you please, yes. I think what Abby learned from Chef Ramsay yeah. was accept criticism. Because accepting criticism and dealing with it makes you stronger. Come here, Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Great to see you. Come back again. I want to thank him. He was a lifesaver, because Down City is my life. I really like him a lot. He's a cool guy. I don't need to tell you, but it's been a rough couple of years for all business owners. So for Davide, Classic America, and Down City to be thriving in this environment is a tribute to all their hard work. I am so proud of them all. Good night. Tonight, it's the most intense kitchen nightmares of the year. Get the fuck out right now! Chef Ramsay heads to an L.A. burger joint. He's doing a natural for 44. Yes, he is doing a natural for 44. And finds a family at war. There are severe father-son issues. Jenny, calm down. No! A marriage is being tested. You didn't even stand up for your wife of 35 right. years! and a son and a mother can no longer communicate. Please, for the love of God, go back to the bar. As for the food, it's beyond atrocious. One word for this, meow, cat food. The chef has completely given up and is out of control. Now give me my check. And the only thing that's consistent here, it's not your choice, is the constant fighting. I'm about done with this childish shit in here, man. You won't believe how a small burger joint could cause so much conflict. I'm going to jump over the side and say, you knocked your ass out of here. Oh, you are, you are, you are. You are. Come here right now. Anger. I want you to get out of the way right now. And pain. This is really hard. <laughs> Jeff Ramsey does his best to right the ship. You've got the will on your shoulders, for God's sake. But there are so many leaks. Get the fuck out of here! Burger Kitchen may be impossible to stay afloat. This is crazy. You can't do it, you know? What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. Third Street in Los Angeles, a young, hip neighborhood known for trendy shops and restaurants. In 2010, Alan and Jen Saffron opened a restaurant called The Burger Kitchen. Good evening. Welcome to Burger Kitchen. My name is Alan. Thank you for coming. Alan's always had the dream to run a restaurant because he's always enjoyed meat. You do the cheese in the middle. You seal the beef, and then you do the cheese on the top. That's what the ultimate cheeseburger is. I have really eaten meat all my life. I've eaten in hundreds of different steak restaurants. And then I figured I'll try and get into a hamburger restaurant. But we didn't have the money to open up the best burger in LA. And I took the money from my son, Daniel. I was kind of dragged into this. Um, I got a sizable inheritance from my grandfather. There was money in a trust account, and my dad took 250000 of my money to put it into this restaurant. Hey, guys, how you doing? Because of that, I had to make the place work. But my dad is not running Burger Kitchen well. All of our burgers are prime Wagyu. That's the best meat you can buy in the country. I've now changed our standard burgers all to Australian Wagyu. It's all frozen. We take it out of the freezer. The meat sucks, so dude. I know. It's, like, really dry. Throw that out. My God, man. You buy your patties pre-made, and they're dry, and you know it's not good. But you continually say it is because you don't have any taste buds. Really not good. Burger Kitchen is managed by a dysfunctional family. You got three chiefs and about four Indians today. There's a lot of tension within all the family members, which filters down to us, of course. I have an order of sweet potato fries, okay, and I have two tickets. Until we figure it out. David, 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 you need to listen to me. It's 
hard to be belittled every day. And so for me to come to work now is like almost unbearable. David, I'll handle this, and then you can come back and expedite, OK? You can't expedite nothing. Thank you. It is such a chaotic work environment with Alan, Jen, Daniel. Is he doing a natural for 44? Yes, he is doing a natural for 44. It is just a train wreck and a half. I can organize the tickets. I don't know why they can't get it through their fucking skulls. It's OK. All right, relax. I did not picture myself doing this. But these are the cards I've been dealt, and I want to make it a success. Table 11 still does not have their sides. I, it's coming. It's all coming. I've told Ricardo to make it on the fly. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But my father, he does not treat me as an equal partner. He still treats me like a child. It's very infuriating. Please, help me. Please. I am absolutely at the end of my rope. I don't have anyone to lean on. I really don't. Chef Ramsay is our last hope. Amazing place to have a restaurant, a smack bang in the middle of Los Angeles. A burger kitchen. Wow. Nice. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Alan Safran, how are you? Alan, good to see you. Thank oh, you very much for coming. You. This is my wife, Jen. Jen. Jen, good to see you. When Chef Ramsay arrived, it just blew my mind. Let's sit down and have a, uh, a chat, shall we, yes? I mean, we've got Chef Ramsay in here to improve us. Otherwise, what the hell is he here for? Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Um, how long have you been open? 16 months. So 16 uh, months ago. Yeah, yeah. So just opened. Yes. Is the business making money? No. We're no. losing 5000 up to 6000 a month, every wow. month. Wow, wow, wow. How can it go so wrong? I, I think it was a combination of a lot of things that I think we did wrong. I think we changed the menu many too, too many times. How many times have we changed the menu? Probably 10. 10 times? Yes. Yeah. That's nearly once a month. What about the chef? I mean, uh, normally we, a menu changes when the chef changes. How many well, chefs have you had? we've had about 10. 10 as well? Yes. Front of house been as bad? Yeah, we've been through about 20 servers. 10 menus, 10 chefs, 20 servers. What's going wrong? Yelp has killed us. Yelp, Yelp has trashed us terribly. They're also deleting five-star reviews. Oh, come on. I can prove it. I can show you right on the Yelp. Is there a plot against you from Yelp to close this business? No question in my mind. Oh, Alan, come on. You've been watching too many fucking Bond movies. So, um, opening restaurants in LA is pretty expensive. Um, where did the money come from? Alan had about 250000 that he inherited from his dad's estate. Okay, nice. So he put all that money into it, and then we started running out of money. And uh, in order to open, my husband went to my son. Mm -hmm. And now my son, Daniel, is in for another, I think, over 250000 as well, because he inherited some money, too. I, I was managing his money, so I actually took part of that money. And as the manager of his funds, you then invested in the business? Yes. Did your son, Daniel, know? Well, of course, he knew eventually. What do you say eventually? I told him after the fact. What? I kind of forced him into it by oh. taking his money. Seriously. Is Daniel here? He's in the business. He does the nighttime shift. OK. You work in the, in the daytime. All daytime. The yes. And you don't work together? Uh, not really that much. Our heads log together. Right. My son has a great deal of resentment towards me, and I don't know why. What about the food? I think it's pretty damn good now, yes. I'd say it's four to five stars. Four to five stars, so you're one star out. OK, but I can't wait to taste it. I've got the background, thank you, I appreciate it. OK, thank you. Chef Ramsay will love my burgers without a shadow of a doubt. I'm Marilyn. Marilyn, nice yeah, to see you. Nice to meet you. First off, what's wrong with the restaurant? There's lack of management right. and the burgers. They're never cooked right. They're always sent back. Wow. Yeah. I tell people that I'm sorry probably 15 times a night. There's no consistency whatsoever. And that's wearing on me, like, as a person. I go home and I'm like, oh, I feel so guilty for serving bad food. OK, let's start off. I'm in California, so let's go for California burger, California, please. sure. Thank you. And how would you like it cooked? Medium rare, please. Medium rare? Thank you. OK. No, definitely cowboy burger. Let's OK. Got to see the Australian meat pie. Yeah. Obviously, I'll have to go for the award-winning burger. OK. Yeah, I think we're done. Uh, Thank you, my darling. Good. Thank you. Good to see you. You too.
dirty plates, guys. Come on. Okay. This is a lot of food. At first, I loved working at Burger Kitchen, but all I'm doing now is fighting with the management. David, I'll handle this. Jen, I want you to get out of the way right now. It's a runaway restaurant, and I have no control. 13 said their burgers were too good. Hey, hey, Lena. Yes. Anything you have to say, go through me. Jen, okay. I'm up there. Tell you more than once. Get out of the way. Chef David does not like me. He doesn't want me in the kitchen. Oh, my God. That woman, she's a nightmare. And he tends to gossip and blame me for a lot that's going on. Out walks the Diablo. We've made some errors here in staffing. This is like a green ring circus. Chef Ramsey, I, I noticed you ordered the cowboy. That'll take yes. a little longer. Don't you worry. That's, I'm a, one, uh... that's a one pound burger. Lovely. Executive chef, David Blaine? Yes. What, the magician? No, 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 he's not the magician. Right. He's, he's just coincidentally the same name. He was the head pastry chef at the Peninsula Hotel. And now he's the executive chef of the burger restaurant. Yes. David Copperfield, your dessert chef? No. David, he was like, Chef David Blaine, like the magician. <laughs> Too bad I can't disappear from here. When I came in here, I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to do any of my recipes. I had to do exactly what Alan told me to do. That's the California. Even if I knew it was wrong, I still had to do it. Some this is the, the California burger. Wow. Thank you, Lane. OK, California burger. I better let you eat. Yes, you please. Eat. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Jeez. Well, it's mid brown. It's raw. Bread's just sweet, sweet and doughy. Bland, tasteless, raw meat, no flavor. Wow, that's nasty. How are you doing? Yeah, that's rough. Does anybody season anything? Yeah. And do the kitchen cook with seasoning? Um, I, I know they throw a little bit of salt in. Well, they're obviously blind because they're missing it. I mean, that is ghastly. What's wrong with this one? Uh, what? what? Stop, 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 stop. What's wrong with that one? There's no seasoning. He doesn't like it. Oh, it's one of the best burgers I've ever tasted in my life. So it's very disappointing. Okay, this is a natural. All right. Natural with white cheddar. Yes. How was it cooked? What did you ask for? No, that's good, medium rare. Oh, we're good on it? Yeah, yeah. And this one is? Natural with white natural. cheddar. Oh, this is the award winning. Yeah. Great. Thank you, man. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That's raw. Wow. That's the award winning burger. Shocking. Marilyn, sorry, man. Yeah. I know I asked for it mid rare, but that's the first for me. They serve a burger with a tartar in the middle. That's just raw. All it is, means raw. It is raw. I can't believe that my burger was that bad. That is just shocking. I, I, I don't know what to think anymore. This is natural. It's um, raw in the middle. Oh, come on, guys. What the fuck is that? I was shocked that it was undercooked because I okayed the burger, but, you know, we were under a lot of stress. David, this is really bad. But instead of looking at their own deficiencies, they wanted to put it on me. I'm about done with this child and shit in here, man. I have to tell me, dude. 100% I am their scapegoat. I'm about to blow up. Jeff Ramsey had a horrendous start to his lunch. Well, the meat's raw. And after sending another raw burger back to the kitchen. David, this is really bad. I'm about done with this child and shit in here, man. Wow. I'm out of here. Don't leave, Derek. Chef David Blaine wants to disappear. I'm about to blow up. People are crazy. I left out of frustration. But when I came on, I made a deal with my staff to stay. And I keep my word, and that's what I'm doing. Let's do this. Oh, OK, we got the big cowboy burger, medium rare. OK, we don't have any of those extra big ones. No, no, who is the ruler? Oh, this is going to be interesting. We got the cowboy done. I'm terrified to bring out of this burger. I don't even think you could swallow. <laughs> they dried. Here is the cowboy burger. Cowboy. cowboy. With a very small hat. On top, look at the bun. Where'd you start? <laughs> Honestly, look at that. <laughs> Come on, seriously. 
$39. You'd expect a decent bun. This is a bland. Greasy, cooked to hell. Damn. Thanks, man. That is dreadful. Dreadful. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's not your fault. Well. I was shocked. Disappointed, embarrassed, hurt. Meat pies up, guys. But one thing I have that's a little different is an Australian meat pie. The Australian meat pie is the number one staple in Australia. I have brought them to America, and Chef Ramsay will absolutely love it. And that's Ramsay, by the way. This is not gonna like it. What? This is not gonna like it. <laughs> So this is the... The Australian meat pie, oh. the beef. Oh, time to go down under. What is that thing? What a mess. I mean, that is disgusting. That Australian pie can flock off back to Australia with pleasure. I've got raw, doughy pastry on the top and soggy, gooey stuff on the bottom. One word for this, meow, cat food. Disgusting. Didn't like nothing at all. Nothing. It's everything. I believe Chef David can't handle the menu. He's not an executive chef, as he claims. We didn't do good. <laughs> He's a pastry chef. Wow. Well, that was a uh, eye opener. Let's speak the uh, team. This is uh, Chef Hello, David. You? This is the executive Hello, chef, David. Chef. How are you? David Hello, Blaine, David. right? The magician. Wow. Show me what your magic today. This is jalapeno. Jalapeno. OK, great. David, that was fucking hideous. Everything I've tasted has been nasty, awful, bland. And you watched all that coming out, or did you cook any of it? I helped cook everything. And you can't work your magic on a burger? Seriously? You get paid as an executive chef? Wow. What's funny now? Is this an ego massage for you? I follow the recipes as I am told by the owners, and if I try to change the recipes, I am tossed out of here. What? It's not quite true. Come it's on, not guys, true. man up. I've been drinking again. Drinking again? My husband I mean, doesn't drink. I don't know, I don't know. I can't get the truth out of anybody here. Explain this to me, Jen. He does have a lot of control in the kitchen. That's not true, chef. What about the mushrooms? And you changed the whole recipe, and you okay, added one. You didn't want salt on the mushrooms. No Let's tell the truth. Did you add wine to the mushroom recipe? That's how you make saute mushrooms. I just asked a question. Did you add yeah. wine? Yes, ma'am. You didn't tell anyone that you added wine to the mushrooms. Honey, you're missing the point. You're focusing on a mushroom. Mushrooms are important to me. I'm from Poland. I think of all the problem is, instead of putting sugar in that coffee, put a little Prozac in it. David, I just want the truth. This is the truth. I would be better off as a brain surgeon than you running this restaurant. After Chef Ramsay was served raw and tasteless burgers. Now it's ghastly. They serve a burger with a tartar in the middle. Jen and Chef David can't seem to agree on who has control of the kitchen. I follow the recipes as I am told. What about the mushrooms? And you changed the whole recipe and you added wine. You didn't want salt on the mushrooms. And it's starting to get personal. Jen, let's get down to where it's supposed to be. The way you treat us, the way you're manipulated, and the way I had to buy groceries this morning. Where's my money for my groceries that you owe me? Now, first of all, my son You was, haven't paid me. My son was wired this morning, and you gave I'd him... I'd say he was wired. Excuse me. We don't uh, do that, David. I come in here, and I work. I open the place. I do what I'm supposed to do, and I don't get paid. Where's my paycheck? That's not Why is it being paid? I have yeah. checks written out to your That's wife. That's not right. He has been working on uh, the spirit of getting paid. The spirit. And I will pay him. This just sounds crazy. Where's Jen going? She's running to get checks all of a sudden. Honey, you're missing the point. Don't concentrate on the check. I said I'm going to pay him. That's all that's important. I feel I'm a little bit sort of in a, in, in a land of loopy loops. You see how much bullshit's flying around here? Your chef says that he's forced to follow your recipes. Let's see what he can come up with. Do me a favor. Yes, chef. Get out there now, go and get some beef pate, and cook me a burger. 
A burger. Yes, chef. Both you get out there. Bye, guys. This is my career. This is what I love to do. I'm smart enough to know that he's going to like my burger. That gin is a liar, dude. She can't tell the truth. It's crazy. The whole place should be on fucking LSD, man. OK. I need to taste what this guy can cook. Yes? Jen and David do not get along that well. He's very opinionated, and that's difficult for my wife. Jen. You heard how he attacked me. I and know you that. You stand up for your wife of 35 I am, years. I am standing up for you, but I'm realizing how difficult our situation is. While Chef David shops for ingredients for his burger, Chef Ramsay decides to visit Daniel to get his perspective on the issues at Burger Kitchen. Daniel. Hi. How are you? Good. Good well, to see you. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Yeah. It's a nice little cozy place. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been in here? Five years. Five years? Yeah. Five years. I've lived with Wendy for three. She is I'm my girlfriend. Right OK. Yeah, Wendy. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. What does Wendy do? I go in when he's there. Only at night. Only when at night. they're not there, she comes in. Well, sit down. Let's have a, let's have a chat. There was a falling out between Wendy and my family. My dad doesn't respect her, and I don't know why. Take me back to the beginning. Well, when you invested in this restaurant, unknown to you, mm, yeah, you. <laughs> how frustrating was that? I mean, Very, your dad uh, was handling your money? It was in a trust account right. that he had access to. How did we get in this situation? My dad, in all his wisdom and the way he can just manipulate, said, you know, why don't we open a restaurant? And I said, well, that's a little ridiculous. You know, we know nothing about it. Let's not do that. Unbelievable. How much did it take? 250000 Wow. I was infuriated. Why did you do this? You know, without even my approval. And he's like, I thought you'd like it. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. It's your money. Yeah, I know. What's the relationship with your father like now? How'd you get on? It's not good. No, I mean, it's I, I can good. feel that. When was the last time you actually made a decision together? Never. My dad still treats me like a child. It almost makes me want to cry. He changes the menu way too often, and he doesn't tell anyone. 10 menus? More. Over 20. Over 20 different menu changes. Wow. I, I can't get even on the books. I'm not even on the records. You know, I've asked him numerous times. I've asked the accountant. Uh, this this is, is like crazy. three months ago. This is the only fucking proof I have, which is a joke. This was to placate me. When the restaurant first opened, that was that's a joke. That's not true. This is printed out on a computer. This, this, this is nothing. Share, by the way. This is nothing. <laughs> this is not. This is toilet paper. I thought it was going to be bad, but I didn't think it was going to be quite that bad. I just, I don't trust him anymore. It's taken a while for me to kind of like come to that um, realization, you know, but. Um... <sighs> Sorry. It's hard, you know, it's hard to watch this happen. It's hard to watch somebody get beaten down so much that like the fight is no longer there. OK, uh, well, that's given me an <laughs> even deeper insight. Run it as normal tonight, yeah. and just pretend I'm not there, sure. but I'll be in and out. Yeah. Watching everything. Yeah. OK? OK. Good to meet you both. Thank you. Okay. I just say thank you again. Okay. So much. Thanks, thank you. See you later tonight. Bye. Thank you very much. Back at the restaurant, David is preparing Chef Ramsay's burger. Let's call this one the Redemption Burger. And for the first time since he started working at the restaurant, he is using his own recipe. But this time, I want it seasoned our way. This is very important to me that when I make this burger, it's a good burger. But at least it's going to be my burger, and it's not going to be Jen and Alan's burger. Let's start getting this thing ready. Are you making them a burger, too? Yeah. With the Wago. A what? With the Wago. I'm smart enough to listen to what Chef Ramsay wanted. He wants a nice, juicy burger. He wants something with flavor, not frozen meat. Medium rare, brother. OK, get it off. We're ready. Let's give Ramsay a hamburger, man. Here we go. I know if you're eating lunch, don't worry. Yeah, Please. I just, I just made a burger. My ingredients. Your own ingredients? Yes. Wow. So it's not on the menu? No. Do you want to try it? Some people have called me a meat sculptor or a meat creator. A lot of different celebrities have eaten my food and have said it was fantastic. Yes. What's in there? You'll see. 
Yeah. Uh, try it. I, I can see the blood, it's, but it's, what's it's, in it's there? It's the uh, Wagyu mix, but I've, what I've done is I've added certain spices and I made a cheeseburger. I don't like a bun. Alan, you're not a meat expert. You don't know a thing about meat. The only thing you know how to do is sit on the computer in there and change menus. That's what you do. And you made this? Yes. It's amazing. That is hideous. At least it's seasoned. This is the burger I'm dying for. Sure. David, please. Presentation. Uh, it looks great. Thank you, Chef. Explain, please. I'm using a small gruyere with grilled tomato, spring mix with a mustard aioli and a jumbo pickle homemade. What I had earlier, this is this looks night and day. Wow. OK. Look at that. Bloody hell. I mean, that's what I call a burger. Jesus. And how does it taste? It's delicious. Thank you, Chef. The temperature's perfect, and the roll is crispy. Yes, yeah, Chef. Would you like to have a little taste? I'd love to. <coughs> what is uh, that strong it, taste that I'm tasting? Gria cheese, and it's smoked, right? Yes. Yeah, I love it. Does that go through the meat? I taste something stronger in there, like a dry-aged or something beef. But I do like my meat red in it. I, I am a medium rare girl. The problem is that's not medium rare as it should be. It may be medium, uh, but I can tell you one, it's bloody juicy. That is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, I'd give that 9 out of 10. Love that title there, by the way, Redemption Burger. And you certainly did that. Suck on this burger, Jen. And you too, Alan. Why aren't we serving burgers like that? Because I thought the Wagyu meat was better. You've got your priorities wrong. Because okay. the word Wagyu sounds glamorous and expensive, it doesn't mean you say it's going to deliver you the most tastiest mm -hmm. burger. My question to you is that if you know that your burgers are better than what you're cooking currently, what the fuck are you doing? I'm forced into making what they like me to make. And right. If I try to do a change, I'm persecuted for making a change. And he wants to blame me for everything in the kitchen. Yeah. And I'm not that powerful, Chef Ramsay. I'm a 64-year-old woman. I, but, I can't control it, all this, but, what he's saying. How am I that powerful? Do you see a chef hat on me? Do you see me swirling the pans or making the patties or chopping the mushrooms or putting the salt on? I mean, what really frustrates me is the fact that I get served that mediocre crap and that thing is seasoned beautifully. Cheese gives it that little bit of saltiness. Absolutely delicious. Thank you, Chef. Jen? Whatever. Jen? Where's she going? This is ridiculous. David has proven to Chef Ramsay that thing is seasoned beautifully. Absolutely delicious. He can cook a winning burger when he is not confined by Jen and Alan's recipes. Mm. But the chef's success doesn't appear to be appreciated by one of the owners. Jen? Jen? Come on. Where's Jen? Thank you. Jen got up from the tasting because Jen wanted me to be the reason that their pitiful restaurant hasn't made it. Jen, what's the matter? What's wrong? I'm 64 years old. I've, I've been through many, many different situations. Yeah. My situation is to get this restaurant productive and Price. prosperous. It's not about some bully or some fool. But is that why you just walked out? Because my heart hurt. What do I do? Is that a false thing? If I have to sit there and smile and say that that everything is fine? I can't do that. No, but you just didn't tell me what's going on. That's all. I'm facing a bully who has been abusive to me. Who's we need to address to... this. But just for you to get up and walk out, it just looks a little bit weird. I need you. And I think more importantly, mm -hmm. I think Alan does. Yeah? OK, please. Right, I'm Come on. I, I, OK. I feel a good energy from Chef Ramsay. If I was here to be in a positive place, I felt very comfortable in coming back. OK, Jen's back. Found her. Uh, yeah, she got a little bit upset, and she was... Uh... I understand. Well, because I, I, I know that the chef can deliver this kind of burger... Please, should, David. ...and should have delivered it before. Why did Jen just walk out the back door? That was a different issue. Why? That's got what nothing is the to do. Issue? Because Watch you're, me you're, fail. No, because it's got you're a bully. To do. A you bully. say nasty yeah. things to me. Let me explain something. And to you, Jen. I don't care Jen. what you Jen, say. You went, wait, wait, take it easy. Eight to twelve chefs walk out. Since the day I walked in here, you want me to fail. I think that woman's a shark. 
you get in the water with them, you might get your testicles bit off. The reason you walked out the back door is because you wanted Chef Francis Fire. Jen, Jen, Jen. That's why she walked out. That is not the truth. Right, stop, stop there two seconds. I want to see the place in operation. You running your job, watching you do your job, and you running the kitchen. Okay? Once we finish service, we'll talk after that. Okay? Delicious. Thank you. Let's go. As the staff prepares for dinner service, one other thing, Alan has something he wants to share with Chef Ramsay. I'd like to give you my book. You got your own uh, cookbook? I wrote a book. You wrote a book? Yeah, I wrote a book. Gentle Satan, it was about my father. My, that's what my mother called him. Is that you on the cover there? That's my father. That's your father? That's me. Uh, did you have a, a bad relationship with him? Oh, yeah, because 34 years ago, he wanted me to stay in Australia and be in his business. And I said, Dad, I don't want to be in their business. Plus, I've met a wonderful girl in New York. I want to move there. He said, if you leave Australia, it'll be the end of us forever. You didn't want to be controlled, right? No, I didn't want to be controlled. Did you love him? It's hard to say. It's a, it's a love-hate relationship. How can you love someone who stabbed you so much in the back? And wow. to think that okay. a father would do that to his own son is beyond shocking. Um, it sounds like a compelling read. I'll have a read of that tonight. Read. Thank you. Thank you. Bedtime reading. Thank see you. Later. I'll see you later. Bye. Welcome to Burger Kitchen. My name's Alan. I'm the owner. Thank you for coming. From the moment Chef Ramsay arrived, he has been hit with a variety of issues. It's now time for dinner service. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's One, go. two, three, let's go, OK? All right? OK, good. And for the first time in a long time, Daniel will be working alongside his father and mother. All right, what can I get you? Could I get a Texas chili burger, please? Sure. How do you want to cook? Medium, please. OK. Texas chili, Texas medium, chili. bar. Do that. You got your okay. two tickets. All right. So two Texas chili, one Texas chili. That's it, just one. Alejandro, Texas chili burger medium. Hey, what are you actually gonna, what, what are you doing tonight? I've been hosting, expediting, okay. serving. Good. A lot. So is your father taking orders as well? No, he's just hosting. No. Okay. So I don't want him to do, I've been wanting him to just stay by the register. Yeah. And just run bills. He doesn't like listening, does he? No one likes no. listening. That beer is rated in the top 10 in California by the leading beer editor. Excellent beer. I didn't want my dad to be host again. He has a breath problem. He does have bad breath. He walks around with bad breath. And I know, I know for a fact, I've seen it. Some of the customers, when he starts talking, they lean back. Every, every beer that's just. Sorry, come on. Don't, right. don't linger on the teammates. I'm not. OK, but come on. Doesn't listen. Doesn't listen. Hey, Danny, do you mind if I see you in my office? I did, I'm not here, talking to you. Just, here, just for a second. All I did was greet people. That's fine. I didn't do anything else. I know. Okay, so listen. And I'm happy to take that role. I don't need any other role. Fine, then greet, and then don't linger on the tables. I won't right? linger. Well, you're no mistaken mom, about my... You're no mistaken. Mom, Alan and Daniel never work together in no. the evening, normally. No. And but you really get in there and yell. The relationship was that fragmented. No, it's just, it's just how it is. Daniel's dad doesn't listen. No matter how hard you fight, he doesn't understand the word no. He just doesn't. He doesn't listen to Danny. All right, so where are we at? We're OK. I can't do these tickets like this. There's not enough room for them. All right, it's OK. It's OK. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'm waiting for a breakfast. breakfast that's with turkey with meat. Is yes. that breakfast turkey? Yes. No, that's a godfather. It's OK. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sorry. I don't need you second guessing me, Oscar. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to. Despite all the confusion in the kitchen, let's go, guys, pick it up. Burgers are being sent out quickly. Got a breakfast burger here. But that doesn't mean the customers are satisfied with their meal. It's like oozing grease. Yeah, it's really mushy. Oh, okay. And as dinner service continues, yeah. so does the pattern of unhappy customers. I said medium well. Okay, all right, this is not medium well. I'm sorry about that. Oh, shit. Medium well. That's not a medium well. Fucking oh, hell. No. Guys, this isn't a medium well. And frequent returns to the kitchen. Table 52. This was not supposed to be a junior cheeseburger. It was supposed I'm to not going to say that the food isn't the problem, but the entire ticket system is messed up. It's total chaos. Let me show you something. What does it say? It says junior burger okay, with fries. OK, that's a junior cheeseburger with fries. Let's go with it. What's really screwed up is the ticket system. It's like. Are you throwing me under the bus? 
right now. I'm talking about your ticket system. You have the carbons here. The order comes out. You give the carbon to the waiter. They take it to the table. That's it. Final. Done. Simple. You know? It's I don't know simple. what. Then let me run it. I can run it then. You want to run yes, it? Yes, you can go behind there and I'll run it. Let's see what you can do. All right. Do. Okay, fine. <sighs> David doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. He looks like a deer in headlights. A trained monkey could take tickets and get them out on time. That's nothing. I've never seen a family that's so worried of being thrown under a bus. No one's being thrown under a bus here, man. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I will help uh, you out. What in the fuck is all this for? All these tickets here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a game of solitaire. Is this what it's like normally? This is, yes. I think this place needs help so bad with the ticketing process. It's hard for the kitchen to really take time and focus on every burger and make it the best. Table two, do they have their fries? Table two? There is no table two. Table fucking two. Jesus, guys, I'm gonna This is 42. 42. That's 42. There's two guests. Why did you say it? It says table it's right there. Table two. Listen, you're, you're fucked. Does this say table two? It says 42. It, there, there are two people. Go. Table two is not going to have 42 fucking guests. Danny, stop Come on, Vince, let Danny, Danny, man. Danny. I'm going to jump over the side and say you knocked your ass out if you don't oh, stop you are, it. Oh, you, you are. You are. Come in right now, man. Come in right now. You know what? Get out of here. He wants to fucking fight me. You want to threaten me? You want to threaten me? Get the fuck out right now. Yeah, get Please. out of here. Get, get out, out right now. Get up right now. Get the fuck out right get now. Out. Out. Done. Get out. Done. You're done. I'm done. You're done. Done. Bye. Done. Goodbye. Bye. Out of here. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Done. All right. Done. You fucking threatened me. Get the fuck out of here. It's 90 minutes into a terrible dinner service. I'm gonna jump over the side and say you knocked your ass out of here. Oh, you, stop are, you are. You are. You are. Come here right now, man. Come here right now. And Chef David is targeting another member of this dysfunctional family. You wanna threaten me? You wanna threaten me? Get the fuck out right now. You're done. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You're done. Goodbye. You're done. Goodbye. I probably am in the wrong, but I'm not going to have some crackhead yell at me. Don't do that right now. What the fuck? Dude, it was a miscommunication on the podcast. I Vikings. don't care. Just chill. Let's Daniel, chill out. Don't chill. Let's Daniel, chill out. Let Danny handle it. I've taken so much shit from so many people, so many, that, that I just cracked. I cracked. What's wrong? Oh, he's in there screaming like a maniac. I told him to scream at me, quit acting like a kid. I jump over there and thump his ass. I don't need him acting like that in there. They've got too much confusion going on. You've got Danny, you've got his girlfriend, mm -hmm. you've got the mother, mm -hmm. and you've got the father. Yeah. And none of them go to the top floor. The elevator don't go there, brother. I'm sorry, chef. Did he ask you to leave? With yes, he did. He told me I'm fired. This is the most fucked up place I've ever worked at. The entire family is insane. They're all crazy. I don't know what to say. David, what happened? He threatened me. He said he was going to beat me up. So I fired him. Is it always this crazy? Always? Uh, all right. 14, oh, no. we needed it, it, less oh, cooked fries, no. and this is too rare. Look at this. Oh, come on. What is this? What was this? That was supposed to be, I'll double check the ticket, but yeah. I think it's a Somersetshire. It's supposed to be medium rare. Come on, guys. I'd rather keep them waiting five minutes for something cooked beautifully. While chaos reigns in the kitchen, not surprisingly, the dining room is a disaster as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's no customers. Marilyn. They left. Jesus. And they just got up and went? They said they don't want to order anything else. All they had was a root beer float, so I gave it to them on the house. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Take the chair. Bloody hell. When a customer gets up second time round and walks out and leaves their food, and now it's terrible. Burger kitchen, burger massacre. With dinner service completely falling apart, Chef David Blaine returns. Hi, Chef. But he hasn't come back to cook. Hey, Jen, you fired me on his $1,000 paycheck right now. California law states that you pay me before you fire me. It's right my check. All right. And I don't want this one to bounce, please. All right, David, we'll try I don't feel like playing handball today with my checks. David is over here, and he wants his $1,000 check because Danny's fired him. Why did Danny fire him? It was, he was right to fire him. He's saying he wants his $1,000 check. The other ones have bounced. Do we have $1,000 right, to pay right, him? Right. You can't talk to uh, him okay, right okay, now. OK, OK, OK. Take it David, easy. as Take you know, I don't have $1,000 right today, but I can pay you tomorrow. I demand my check, because I won't come back here. Who knows tomorrow if you're going to even be here? I'm obviously going to be here. That's obvious, and you know that. You know what? And I don't know what to her. Hopefully, you won't be here, man. I'm telling you that. Give me my check and I'll cash it tomorrow. 
post it for tomorrow. Fine. You want me to do it, honey? I'll do it. Write a check for $1,000. Jen, take 20 bucks out and go buy you a description of Prozac. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Jen, 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 Jen just no, write Prozac, a check. No, no, just... no, no, I need to say this. Please, what I'm do you not need to upset. Say? What do you need to say? Did Danny give you back the money for the produce you both this Yes, he did. What did he give you back? He gave you back $100. I also gave you $15 in change. Oh, would change. you like some money? Well, then take $15 out. Minus 20 for your Prozac. We'll be even. Right, right. We don't That's need to saying, say that. You know, First of all, Jen had nothing to do with what happened. Danny did so. This isn't about, this isn't between me and Danny at this point. It's not between me and you. It's between me and you and the your use and me the Prozac. Now give me my check. While Chef Ramsay has observed many difficult situations over the years, give me my check. Tonight's dinner service might just be the craziest he has ever seen. Give me my check right David, now and post David, it for tomorrow. David, I'm not playing. I want it. David, I will write David, you a check. Please stop. Please okay, stop let's get my check. The, please stop saying no Go and write the check. I'm not on anything. He's the one that needs this so-called Prozac. I don't even know what it does. What do, we, what do we owe you? What do we owe you? What do we owe you? thousand dollars. thousand dollars? Let's pay it up. What Jenny, is the problem? Danny, Jen had nothing to do with that. Oh, come on. She is Danny, the problem. Danny fired you. Uh, does it matter if God fired me? She's the problem. Danny here. fired you, not the me. The problem in this restaurant, my God, is that lady, Alan. How can you blame her for something that Danny did? I'm not blaming her. I'm just, I'm just telling her she needs Prozac. I'm telling her the truth. To say that she needs Prozac or anything like that, that's below the belt, and it's disgusting, and I've lost all respect for it. I'm not on Prozac. Who cares if you're on the fucking Prozac? Don't yeah, worry about that. Let's know. Okay. Look, okay. Jesus Christ. Write the check for a 1000 And it's you can fine. put the money in tomorrow for us? What? Me and Robert? How the fuck can he put the money no, in? No, I don't think so. Wendy, huh? Wendy, no, 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 please no. don't get involved right now. These people will never respect him. I'm just over Jen and Alan taking money. They're just fucked up people. The card I never have, man. You know what? I'm you on can't solid. Do that. You don't have the money in there, so I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. What? No, I, I have to be legitimate. Danny's not giving you any more money. He's already giving you too much, and I'm sorry. That's pissing me it's off. It's not your choice. Alan, please don't yell at a girl. I love it. Alan, please don't yell at a girl. I love it. Please go out. You're too it's sick. It's not your choice. Just go out. It's, it's not okay. Danny's choice either. All right. You aren't even Wendy, an owner, Wendy. Wendy. This Wendy, is not, not legitimate tonight. time card not either. tonight, and she's a young lady. Please don't yell at her. All right, thank, thank you, David. You, and David, for the record, yeah. I'm not on Prozac, dear. Well, for the record, you should be. Fucking meth heads. What a joke, honestly. No, Marilyn, what's wrong with this one? It's too well done. They ordered medium rare. And it's white in the middle. On a night when 21 dishes are returned. Do you remake on the mountain? And yet another chef is fired. Are you okay? No. Daniel is devastated. It's just, this is really hard. You know? uh, that was horrendous. Yeah. You all right? Uh, I even got threatened to be beaten up, and all I want to do is fucking. Uh, I just want to serve a good burger, you know? I mean, you're 29 years of age, you've got the world on your shoulders, for God's sake. This is crazy. I just can't do it, you know? <laughs> it all hit me like a floodgate. I just, I just started crying. I couldn't take it. <laughs> Come here. Go outside. Come on. Take over you. Wake up and take over. Let's go. Come here. We're going under. Maybe I should just close the doors. I can't do this. Not this, you know? Bloody hell. God, that's... That's just insane. Oh, man.